Did you miss this? Well, by any chance you did, we're back in this game. Greetings, my fellow friends. It is I, Tomahom, and welcome back to Katamari Damashi and, uh... Oh my god, it's been months. A lot of months since I made the last video. And, well, I just thought, like, why not take the chance? Uh, I have a lot of time to squeeze. I'm home alone, and I feel like whenever I'm home alone, I get the best chance to make videos, because it's... I, I guess you would say it's, like, not too loud. I mean, I could make videos when my family's around, but I just don't want to put too much hustle. I don't want, like, any, like, small background noises to happen, or, like, since I'm really loud making my videos, I don't want to wake them up if they're asleep. But, um, last episode, um, once again, I, I think I already said this in one of my videos, I am not going to recap what happened, but... The, there's this level where you have to collect crowns. I accidentally uh, left it after I thought that I reached a, a good amount of crowns, but I realized that it doesn't actually complete the level. You actually have to collect as much as you can and finish the entire like level until the timer runs out. And well, now I finished that like a while ago, so we are on the hunch of doing Make a Star 6. I'm not going to edit this video, by the way. I checked my previous videos, the edited ones, and I just... I didn't like it whatsoever, the, the editing is just pointless and dumb. I would rather edit it, edit the videos if it's like really special or it's like just a, just not like a chill game and things are just bizarrely happening. And it takes me a lot of time to edit a lot of stuff here and there. But yeah, I'm just gonna skip all this dialogue, because all I care about is just getting through the game. Uh, I still remember the controls. I mean, after years of playing this as a child, I still remember all the the moves and things. I think I might struggle with the camera, though, because it gets a little messy. Crud, I can't, cra I can't grab the uh, beach ball. Man, it's, it's so long, guys. I apologize for not playing this game. I don't know if there's an audience member here that actually enjoys watching stuff on my videos. If you do, that's good. If you came back or something just to see this, then good for you if you love this game. I'm assuming you love to watch YouTubers who play this game. Well, I'm one of them, so come at me. This level is uh, pretty good to go for me. I can manage. Kebabs. I don't think it's very resourceful to put the kebabs on the freaking ground. But they are standing, so I think it's not getting dirty whatsoever. At least it's not touching the ground so you can actually consume it without any... Uh, Disgusting germs. Okay, I can Whoa! Just that okay, that statue's following me. It's not normal. Nothing's normal in this game. Uh, I can see... Uh, I should probably grab the baseball bat. Maybe I can do like, a little lunging, like, boing? Oh, okay, never mind. I have the shovel? Oh, crap. Speaking of the shovel, I think I just lost... Oh, that's not a shovel. I think that's a toolbox. Excuse me, panda boy. Why is there a dude riding on a panda? I feel like I should roll up this place a bit more than go out in the open, because I could definitely see an open. Yep. Right there is where I can start rolling up the big old stuff, but I think it's best if I get all the minimal items here first. And once I go out, I'll be a big old sprout, collecting everything that I find in my sight. Also, hello there, rabbit man. Hope you get paid well for your job. Unless there isn't any form of currency in this game, so yeah, I couldn't get paid. Sucks to be you, pal. Oh, I can get this boy! I can get this kid. Yeah. Murder. Well, I don't think it's murder. They're actually still alive. Just moving their hands around. They probably just don't... They probably have tons of discomfort just being around in the... Ball. I, I don't know if, like, the ball is supposed to be called a katamari. But I feel like if I call it a ball, it feels more simplistic. And I don't have to, like, worry about, like, butchering its name. Oh my god, I can grab these pylon things? Okay. Okay, oh gosh, it's this fat businessman. I remember him. He made a weird noise when you go to uh, check out all the characters, and you click on him, he's like, Ugh! They always make these characters have, like, weird... Oh my gosh, I just grabbed a sheep. Oh my god, boat! Oh, oh my gosh. Things are getting scary. Especially when you're getting big. That's how it's like in reality. When you grow older, things are... Well, it depends. I mean, if you're just accustoming to your life as you grow up... So maybe it's gonna be oh crud. Turn on the TV, right? And I get on the a game. I get on a game or something. It it will tend to like black out because it just does it. My TV doesn't suck. It's good and everything. I didn't crack it, but ever since I got it from my dad, I feel like it was a little dysfunctional by the sense that it would uh black out randomly. 
and I guess it's not that bad because I could just. But like, if I'm in the middle of a game or something, and I'm like, it's a, it's like a very serious situation. Also, where'd the farmer go? Oh my God, he's running away. Can I get him? Can I get him? I cannot. All right, you can get out of there, Scott Free Pal. The next time I see one of your uh, farmer kinds, and no, that's not meant to be a racist joke, guys. I swear. If I ever see a farmer like you, I'm gonna get you. Oh, hey, hey! Don't shoot me! It was such a funny like design that the, the police guy shoots after you. Oh, there we go. See, I got one of your brothers, sucker. Okay. Grab all this, take out the scooter guy. Okay, I cannot grab the scooter, but I can grab the guy. That was him. Uh, okay. Oh, I can grab those trees now, great. Cause those give me tons of mass to deal with. Come on, come on, give me all of this. For my own satisfaction and pleasure, give me all these trees. By the way, those flowers look nice on that tree. I feel like when you collect items and then you look at like, you look at what you collected down below, I feel like the colors are like less saturated. I feel like when you collect these, when you look at the items, they look like they're just like so depressing and like gray. Oh look, I did it! I reached the goal. But I'm still gonna continue on because why not? I'm such a pro at this game. Well, not the best pro, but at least I get the job done. But when I look at the stuff, it lo it looks like all the uh, objects are like the colors are a little saturated. So therefore, it kind of looks like there's like a mix of the regular color and it's black and white. But it's like it just. It looks bland when you're in there. Yeah, but when you collect it, it looks more colorful. It's like as if you gave enlightenment to all these objects. Like, they, they have a life and they're all just enlightened by the fact you grabbed them. Ugh. Oh my gosh, what is happening here? Competition? Look at these guys. How are y'all doing that? How are y'all doing that in the most slow-paced way? Okay, let me get these guys here. Hisashi and Kotoro. I'm sorry I got y'all too, but you're mine now. You're gonna be sent up in the heavens, and you're gonna become a star. And no, not an influential star, like an actual star in the sky. I wonder what it feels like to turn into a star. Like, you're a human, and you're on the race of escaping from a ball, but uh, you get collected by it, and you're screwed. Am I allowed to get over here? Probably not. I can't. I don't think I can make that uh, lunge over there. I guess I'm only I'm only limited to this place here, so that's all right. I can take it. Ooh, look at all that stuff stacked up a treasure. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, I'm gonna, let me go to the beach side real quick. There's a beach side right here. I can get to that right now. I surely I can surely tell that I can get that boat. There's no doubt that I can grab it. Oh my gosh, what is happening here? Oh, it's up, surfer dude. What are y'all doing over here, huh? Why are y'all starting a cult on this swan boat? Get out of here. I'm not allowing you to do your creepy fire thing, your evil chant. Oh, look at these guys. Oh my god, are these wrestlers? And they are. Oh yeah, they are both wrestlers, except one of them is masked. And the other one's not. Well, maybe I ruined their moment, but... Whatever. You were, an e you were ripe for picking. So I'm sorry. Oh, look, there's another one over here. Come on, pal. Don't run. Ah, uh, you're supposed to be tough, not scared of me. What's up with that, huh? Ooh, look at these log fences. These log fences are making me lump up and down. All right, what if I go back here? Can I go back here now? Will I fit? Am I too overweight here? I am not. Okay, great. Time to cause chaos. Sorry, guys. I wonder how long it took for the people to like design these levels to like add all these objects. Like, imagine how long it took. Because I definitely don't think they randomly generated all these objects to be where they are in place. I'm sure they like took their time to um, code in like how their walking pattern and everything. I actually don't know how it works. Come on, guys. You're mine, the bunny man. You're mine, pal. You're freaking mine. So, I, I guys, I have a little plan here. I'm thinking that for like every episode, I can like complete two levels because. Whenever you play a regular level, they're like very like time consuming. So for example, the level that I started was like pretty roughly like the time duration was pretty high. So I'm thinking like maybe two levels per episode. I really hope I can get back to this game because I definitely want to complete it for y'all. 
And for those that haven't really played it before, and you don't feel like getting it or you can't get it, well, I'm your resource. Oh, there's more fences. Can I grab this? Oh my gosh. I can grab that. I can grab that flagpole. Look at all of these flags. Oh my gosh, this is so rough. Wait, is there another thing I can grab? So there's a lot of small trees there. I should probably grab those meanwhile. Uh, can I get up? I can't. Can I grab those here? Oh, that's a, a little telephone pole. Can I grab this? Maybe not. Okay, wait. Can I grab... Peacock? It's not supposed to be like a reference to an actual TV program. I think it is, but you're mine. Oh, look at this guy over here. Oh, look, there's a car moving up there. Can we not get up there? I don't think we can because the streets look a bit um, empty. And whenever you see like a location that's like somewhat empty, that probably indicates that you cannot get through it. Oh, look at this gold guy over here. He thinks he could escape from me just by doing that. Sorry. Can I go up here? There we go. He's hanging out with the snowman, by the way. Ooh, I got cars! Busker. You little busker. It's like Buster, but you're calling him a busker. Which is probably like less threatening than Buster. Well, I think the word Buster isn't even threatening. It's just it's like some sort of idle threat that doesn't like is supposed to like scare people, but really it doesn't. It's just a threat to throw you off board and be like, oh, it's supposed to be scary. I don't recall I don't ever recall myself being threatened by someone. I, I really cannot remember. Like, I know, like, when I play games, there's gonna be random people on the internet just being like, Oh, I'm gonna find you, but it's like, I've never actually dealt with a guy threatened to do worse. Like, for example, like, I'm gonna kill your family, or I'm gonna steal all of your property, and I'm like, please don't do that. Because, look, I'm afraid of people doing that, by all means. I don't... I'm not the right type of guy to be dealt with dealt, dealing with all this type of stuff where it's like someone's antagonizing against me, they're like, I'm about to kill you, and I'm like, I don't know what to do to be honest because I've never been in that situation. You see, when I play games though, it's like, I always, I feel like, if you guys don't know what Buddhas are, basically Buddhas are like these people that um, aren't able to find your IP address. If you don't know what an IP address is, I'm assuming we all have it in our technology, but... It's our internet, um, what was it called? I forgot. It stands for something definitely, but something like internet something. But, most importantly, you you do not want somebody to pull that. Because once they, once the booter pulls out that type of information, they can shut off your, like, Wi-Fi, I think. I don't know if they can shut off your power or Wi-Fi, but I think they can certainly damage your Wi-Fi router. And therefore, you, you can't function like anything that requires Wi-Fi. And it is a little story, actually. So back when I played on my PlayStation 3, I used to play Minecraft, and in the middle of, like, me having fun with Minecraft, uh, I met this guy, and I'm not gonna really name any names, but me and him are still friends. But basically, I was there with him. And the thing is that I never met this dude, but there was other people. So I remember I was, like, pretty young. I don't know how old I was. I was probably like 10 to 12 probably that I met these random people and um this guy uh, was actually a booter and he was like kind of a laid-back dude but I think he was he occasionally liked to kind of chase after girls but not like too weirdly so yeah anyways let me just cut to the chase of like this guy so uh, by the way I'm gonna choose like a different level should I make Pisces or Gemini I don't want to get Ursa Major. Ooh, I'm gonna get that to the next episode. I'll I'll show you why if I get to it. I'm gonna do Pisces because it's all about fish, and I kind of like fish. But yeah, back to the story. Um, so this guy, he was basically talking to his other friends, and I'm assuming all these guys were older than me, talking about like, oh, these this guy is screwed or something, right? And uh, oh, look at that fish, by the way. Can I catch the cat? I can. It's a catfish, I get it. Creative game. Yeah, this guy, um, he is a kabooter, and they're talking about it. And I was a kid who had no power to that type of stuff. Like, I don't, I didn't even know what it was. I was like, as, at an age like that, you would definitely think I was sustainable because I was a little kid, and they'd be like, <laughs> let's turn this wi dude's Wi-Fi off, right? And it's like kind of menacing to me. But in actually, it, 
it never actually happened to me, and I'm uh, thank God I've never been in that situation. But uh, I thought like when they made it apparent that they were like booters and stuff, um, I thought like I like they told me what it was that and stuff, and I was like, uh oh, please don't do that. And everyone was like pretty neutral. But then that this one guy, the friend that I'm still friends with, he for some reason had the heart to like not boot me off. And even though I was a little child, he still had heart for me, so he was like, Yo, bro, like, what you doing in here? And I'm like, I don't know, a friend invited me here. So, me and him started hanging out, we started talking to each other, and like, obviously we didn't exchange, like, private information. I wasn't too... I wasn't that dumb. Oh, oh gosh, I think my parent... Actually, guys, I'm gonna pause the video here, my, uh, my brother right here, so I'm gonna cut the video short here. Alright, hello, sorry guys, um... Today is a new day, and I woke up like two hours ago. Um, yeah, the little cut away, the little cutaway that just happened. Uh, my mom and brother came back from just something. I, I, I don't know what it was, but uh, basically it's like since I'm assuming they were they've been there for a while, wherever they were, so they were pretty sleepy. So it's like I wanted to cut the video a bit short in half, and then like continue with the next day. And well, here I am continuing it. Uh, yeah, I kind of got myself a little head start, but I kind of wanted to make the number count relevant or similar to what I got. So I'm just trying my best to get this small a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to get through these uh, blue bars. All right. So uh, my main priority is to collect as much of this as possible, as I 100% remember. And I'm just trying to collect as much stuff I can find, to become more bigger, and expand my inventory of stars and constellations. Do the otters count as fish? I don't think so. No, they're not. They're like some type of definitely like mammal living anymore. Look at these. They got little sea balls. I'm sure that's not what it's called actually, but it, it sounds kind of fun. Uh, can I roll up a tree? I don't know if I can do that yet. Maybe I could? I'll, I'll give it a try in a bit. Meanwhile, I gotta go collect all these fishies here yeah, because there's like a million of them. They're swimming everywhere. And there's people swimming everywhere, obviously. And what the heck is mermaids? Man, this is a crazy fictional world, I tell ya. Alright, let me just go around here. I can't grab the statues yet. The statues do plenty of mass on my uh, Kakamari. And they're fish statues, so I think they should count. Hey guys! Oh, can I grab the, the ladies here? Are they ladies? They're a diver, it looks like. Okay. Oh, she fall? Oh, she did fall. Can I get her in time? I could, yeah! There we go. Actually, let me just grab all the fish that are just swimming around here. Or the stingrays. Whatever is just hiding in there. these kind of fish? Oh, they do! I guess because they're fish-related, they can have, like, low tails or whatnot. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool that it counts. Uh, oh, let me get this guy real quick. There we go. You're mine now, pal. You're running nowhere! Penguins, I'm gonna grab you. There we go. Let's get a little bigger. A barrel? Give me that. There's a lot of fishies. Just, like, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get in the middle of this so I can grab them all. There we go, tuna. I love tuna. Tuna's my favorite fish. I like to get the subway stuff because they're really good. Actually, uh, my mom, brother, and I we went to Subway one time, and uh, we usually get tuna sandwich, the, the tuna subs, because they're absolutely just amazing. In my opinion. And we don't eat it every day or something, but occasionally we'll just get it whenever we can. But uh, basically, when my mom and brother got their sub, for some reason there was like barely any tuna in it, and I was like, I didn't know what was going on because like I'm free. I don't know if they like they were, they were running out or there was like some sort of like maybe because we're Muslim, <laughs> probably not. Maybe some go overboard. But we were thinking like maybe there was some unfair treatment given with it, and. Yeah, basically, I had more most of the tuna, and I was confused. I was like, why did y'all not get much except, you know, except for me? I got, like, tons of it, and y'all didn't get a lot. And I was confused. I was like, why is this happening to my mom and brother? Oh, can I actually get through here? Oh, I can. What the heck? Okay. Maybe there isn't much stuff, so it's pretty empty. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to accumulate some items here. Okay. Rush in the middle. Oh, my God. That monster truck. Leave me alone, leave me alone. 
Look at these businessmen over here playing baseball. Well, they're not actually playing, but... I'm supposed to collect fish, but why not collect some of the stuff that are out here? Car, excuse me. Gas pedal. Gas pump, not gas pedal, gas pump. You can give me. Is there not like no fish? Fishy item here? Items similar to fish? Maybe not. Wait, actually there's a there's a ton of fish in some group over there, I remember. Let me get this flag pull out of the way. I remember I saw like tons of fish laying on the ground. Excuse me, that dude. Get to it. Can I get it? Can I get her? Yeah, there's some fish here. All right, here we go. Try to get like 125, maybe. Oh yeah, we got more than what we want. Okay. I don't even think we collect all the fish here, but it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. 135, that's good. Yeah, you're welcome, King. We got tons of fish for the protein. I could really go for some tuna, but we don't. I remember back in when I had lunch in my, uh, you know, I mean, I still have lunch in high school, but it's like, usually for high school, I'll usually get, like, these tuna sandwiches in these tuna packets, and they're absolutely amazing. I usually mix them with mayonnaise, so it's actually bearable to eat, like, a sandwich that has, like, some type of condiment and, like, tuna as well. Because in Subway, I also get, like, mayonnaise and, like, cheese, but with my sandwiches, I sometimes don't like the cheese because the cheese that we get don't usually contain flavors that I like, or they don't really have, like, a taste to it. It, it just tastes kind of bland, in my opinion. But, um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if I get, like, better cheese, maybe. Is there any good cheese preferences that y'all can give me? Do y'all prefer, like, a cheese I should try? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let me know if y'all like tuna. I'm kind of curious. I don't think people are much in the fish section. I think they're more of in the meaty section. But that's totally fine. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't... There, I don't think there was a present in, this lo in that level, so I don't think it matters. Okay, well, I was able to finally get on to this, the second part of this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more Katamari Damashii videos, uh, I will make sure to release them as much as possible and a bit more continuously. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. So, goodbye my fellow friends.